Bubblebug Kids. The dinosaur who didn't belong. The time giant had an important job to do. He had to make sure that everything happened at the right time. All the things that happened came along on a big conveyor belt. His helpers had to sort them into three boxes. The things that had already happened went in the box marked past. The things that were happening right now went in the box marked present. The things that hadn't happened yet were put in the box marked future. One day, the time giant was showing a new helper, Petta, what to do. A knight came along on the conveyor belt. The time giant told Petta to put the knight in the box marked past. A mobile phone came along on. The time giant told Petta to put the mobile phone in the box marked present. Then a parcel came along. It was postmarked 2507. The time giant asked Petta where it should go. Petta put it in the box marked future. That's right, said the time giant. You are learning fast. The time giant said he would come back later to see how Petta was getting on. This is easy, Petta said. A caveman came along on the conveyor belt. Petta put it into the past box. A spaceship came along. Petta put it into the future box. A dinosaur came along. Petta put it into the present box. Petta was very pleased with himself. The time giant came back and asked how Petta was getting on. Petta told him what he had done. Oh dear, said the time giant. Dinosaurs don't belong in the present. They belong in the past. You will have to bring it back so we can put it in the correct box. Petta did what he was told. He jumped into the present box. Petta found himself in a little town. He saw some people running. He stopped one of them and asked why he was running. The man said that he was running from a dinosaur. He said that it was scaring people. Petta found the dinosaur in a park eating a tree. Fascinating! A living dinosaur! said Professor Gaia who was standing next to the dinosaur. Petta explained Professor Gaia that he had to take the dinosaur back to the past. Professor Gaia agreed. Dinosaurs don't belong in the present, she said. The dinosaur heard this. What's wrong with being in the present? asked the dinosaur whose name was Don. There are lots of juicy leaves and grass around here. Professor Gaia said she was very pleased to meet Don. But she didn't belong. If she ate all the trees, the birds and squirrels wouldn't have homes. If she ate all the grass, the sheep and the deer would have nothing to eat. Besides, green things are important to stop the world from getting too hot. Yes, I suppose that's true, said Petta sadly. Don agreed to go back with Petta. Professor Gaia and Petta said she would be much happier in her own time. Petta asked Professor Gaia in a whisper why there were no more dinosaurs. Professor Gaia said, The weather changed. It became too cold for dinosaurs. She added, Humans are changing the weather too. If they don't stop hurting the planet Earth, it would become too hot to live on. You had better warn them, said Petta. Professor Gaia said she did and that there were plenty of people who were listening. Petta and Dawn said goodbye to Professor Gaia. Petta said the special words, There's a time for everything. And they returned to the time giant's conveyor belt. Petta popped Dawn in the past box and waved goodbye. Well done! said the time giant. Petta had realized that everything belongs to its own time and dinosaurs didn't belong to the present. Dawn told her dinosaur friends 
about Betta and Professor Gaia and the humans. But they didn't believe her. They said her head was always in the future. No, she said. I am happy right where I am.